Hello everyone, I'm at the dentist here and I'm here in beautiful Turkey and I thought, you know what, I want to see what these small makeups are all about. That was an interesting experience. So I went in wanting to improve my smile and as you can see there are two options. Option number one, 28 zirconia crowns for £170 each and option number two, 20 zirconia crowns for the same price. The bit that really upset me, you want to do four root canals in my bottom teeth. And even more upsetting, no options discussed whatsoever about orthodontics, tooth whitening, minimally prepared veneers, composite veneers. It was all about straight away a Hollywood zirconia smile makeover. And that was quite concerning for myself as a dentist. How long will I have to sit in, in your chair for? Uh, top and bottom just for preparation of filing the teeth. And it will be around three hours. Three hours? Three hours do 20 teeth? It takes me one hour to do one tooth. I promise you to do it this quickly. They're just hacking away at your teeth to do a quick job really easily. I've looked up. How, how long do these, these caps, these crowns last for? Uh, if you can see my one, 24 years. One. 24 years if you're lucky. As a rule of thumb, it will last 10 to 15 years. But what's more concerning, the crown might last 24 years, but the underlying tooth with such little tooth structure can last about two to five years. Within those five years, can I come back and, and you, you will fix them? If the colour changes or cracks or whatever, of course we can fix that. Okay. Yes, you might be able to return back to the clinic, but you really got to go back to Turkey constantly a few times a year to have this type of work repaired and rejuvenated. It just isn't worth it financially either. The only bit I, I really did, why do I need those root canals again? Okay, to, to straighten your teeth. Let me see your lower jaw teeth, please, because I think they are not straight. Yes, definitely. Definitely. We, we need to make rounds and proper aesthetic. I think this was the most upsetting. He wanted to do four root canals in my lower teeth because they were a bit crowded. The reason why he wanted to do a root canal, he would be forced to remove so much tooth structure to try and straighten them, the nerves underneath would die off. So instead he wanted to do the root canal straight away. However, bear in mind he's done a root canal, shaved half of my tooth down, that there'll be no tooth left. So you would end up doing a big long span bridge to fuse all the teeth together just to hide any underlying health issues. My dent, he kept saying you have to drill away lots and lots of tooth to fit the crowns on and that's where you get problems. Like he, he said the tooth can break off and things like that. No, no, if you're not good dentist, you can do it. <laughs> right. Oh, so he's chatting rubbish. What utter nonsense. As you can see from those videos being posted up, they remove about two thirds of tooth structure. So what ends up happening? The tooth snaps off or the nerve dies off within about five years. That's an absolute lie. You won't get any problems in the future. My, my, den yeah, my dentist know. kept saying, you're better off having braces to straighten my teeth, to get rid of all the crowdness and crookedness. What 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 is yeah. better? Should I should I have full makeover in crowns or should I just have them straighten? But you can still try it. But uh, uh, those type of teeth, what you have on the lower jaw, after maybe a couple of years, maybe one year, two years, it can come back. Yes, he is correct. If you don't wear a retainer every night, the teeth can move back and dissolve position. But if you do wear a retainer, you can have nice, beautiful, healthy teeth in a straight position for the rest of your life, far healthier for your mouth and for you as a person. So I hope you enjoyed my secret expose of turkey makeovers. I should express enough, it is a bit unprofessional for me to do an undercover expose of a dental practice. However, I'm so anti these types of extreme cosmetic makeovers, I felt it was almost my professional obligation to do so. And I also thought if somebody did an expose on me, I wouldn't mind. I have nothing to hide whatsoever and I'm really proud of the quality of care myself and my entire team provide here. So please do think again about going to Turkey to have your teeth done and speak to a dentist in England about minimally invasive ways to improve your smile.